Hey guys, Wisp here. So today I'm going to be doing a, a neutral game video for newer Peach players. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about Flow Cancel Fair and how you're supposed to use it to actually control larger spaces with Peach. If you're an experienced Peach player, if you're not from my local Melee scene and I know what your name is, you're probably not the intended audience for this video and you probably won't find anything that you don't already understand. Yeah, so we're, we're here on Dreamland. It's a big stage. And when I was starting out, I found out that especially against faster characters like Fox, even though I understand from a conventional wisdom point of view that Dreamland is supposed to be good for me, I wasn't really seeing the results that I wanted. And my lack of understanding of how to apply Float Cancel Fair played a large part in that. So that's why I chose this stage for, for this demonstration. Oh, and another, another concept to understand before going into this video is that there's an idea of a reactable versus an unreactable mix-up. So, like, if I'm here versus Fox, there's an unreactable mix-up, because if I dash tech, he can't possibly react to it. Um, right, like, I could... Whoops. Like, I could dash tech, I could shoot, I could hit his shield, I could... I could do any number of things. When you're, when you're close, it's an unreactable mix-up, and that's important for understanding how you're supposed to use fair. So what is fair not? Fair is not a hustle move. If Fox is already on top of you, there is no way to go from this situation to using fair in a meaningful way. Like, I'd have to jump, which takes a while. I'd have to wind up my fair and then hit Fox. It just won't do anything good. So it's not a hustle move. If you're looking for hustle moves, you're looking for crouch canceling, nairing, um, back airing, any, any number of things. All of those things that are not float cancel fair. Additionally, if Fox is already below you like this, chances are if you fair, you're going to get hurt. Because the optimal place to use fair from is somewhere over here-ish. Because fair covers a lot of space, uh, covers a lot of space in front of you. And, and downward. But it doesn't cover directly below you with a large hitbox. So if, if Fox is directly underneath you, it won't work. Or it won't work reliably. And so... The thing about fair, because it covers a good horizontal distance, it's a good tool for stopping Fox from getting below you, but if he manages to get below you, it doesn't work well. So what you wind up having to do is you have to use positional mix-ups. So against Fox, if I, if I, so I'm going to make a save state here in my 20XX. And so against Fox, if I float up to him and fair him like that, so I'm going to actually use the replay use the replay feature through this video. So I'm going to set myself to record. I'm going to go up and I'm going to fair on his shield and he's going to hit me. And that's all I need from that. Switch over to my Fox controller. Uh, player one's paused. Load my state and Pete should run over and fair me. Uh, I'm not silly me. I'm not a human. So Peach comes over and fares me. That's all well and good, but all I have to do is I just have to up smash. Like, I have all this time to react to this. So if Fox chooses to stay in place, like, if you're invading Fox's space with fair, it's pretty easy for him to do an up smash like this. So that's the kind of thing that I see Peach is losing to a lot, is that line of Fox play. And it seems, it seems silly. It kills you. Uh, it seems like you can't actually do anything to him. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about mixing up where you place your fares and why this makes it so hard for Fox to actually deal with Peach's options. And so we're going to talk about placing a fare in about this spot. And when I talked about unreactable mix-ups earlier, it was also from about this spot, and that's important. Uh, so we're going to get there. So we're talking about a fare like this, and this obviously doesn't hit Fox, but what it is, is it's a soft commitment, it takes space, and is much harder. Fox has to read where exactly you're going to undershoot to. Like, So like if I've been doing a fair like this, the spacing for Fox to walk in under me and up smash is very different from the, the spacing for him to cover this one. And if he does something like that and I choose to just hit him, his up smash will whiff or he'll get the weak hit. Either way, it won't convert into anything realistic. So by not attacking Fox with my fair, I move forward into the space if Fox wants to maintain his, his like reactable range where Fox is being lame and like dash dancing away from you like at about this range. If I move in and I fair here, 
Fox has to back up now. So I've now taken center stage, and Fox is forced to retreat to this area. So that's kind of what we're going for with this. So if you keep doing these undershot fairs and Fox keeps backing up, it leads you to a good a good place to, to execute your game plan from. So we've established two things so far. The first is that we want to undershoot our fairs, and the second is that if we become predictable, then we get up smashed by Fox, which is undesirable. So... How do you continue to undershoot your fares while also not always faring in the same place? So I'll talk a little bit about positional mix-ups, even before talking about things to do after fair. So when you're faring Fox, this is kind of the default. You fair like that. So what else can we do? The first is that we could fare at a different height. Something like this isn't quite the same as a fair, but it can be useful if they're trying to slip in under you. And, since you land so quickly, it's still safe. Has the same startup issues as everything else. Fox can do something weird like dash attack, but a lot. But if you're from like a pressured position, you can do something like that. Uh, you can also fare from higher up. You can do this full hop fair height. Um, you can undershoot even more. You can try to actually hit Fox. Um, but the, the most important one is using your double jump to adjust your fare. So at this height, you can jump up here. But that's very intuitive and easy for other people to follow. What you can do instead is do this short hop into this, into this this height, and then you use your double jump. And that seems slow at first, but with your double jump, you gain a lot of horizontal acceleration very quickly. So I jump into this space on Wispy's nose, and then I double jump into this space very far away from Wispy's nose, especially like relative to hitboxes and melee. So, you can double jump either forwards or backwards. So you can do this, and that space is very different than this space. So you can do, and the timing with which you double jump will change where you fare when you do that kind of jump back. You can also do the inverse, where you jump backwards and then double jump forward fare. And that can be useful too if you're kind of like a little bit too close. Like not that close, but like maybe this close. Like you don't have space to jump forward to fare. So you can do double jump backwards into fair forwards. And you can also just jump backwards and fair. So you have a lot of ways that you can use your double jump to change where you fair. So that's kind of how you use positional mix-ups. And like I said before, you want to stop Fox from getting underneath you. And so I haven't talked at all about overshot fair. And the reason for that is that it's relatively worthless compared to one of your out of fair options, which is fair dash tag. Fair dash attack leads into more punishes than fair, and it's more um, it's more unpredictable because you posture like you're doing this undershot thing, and then instead of doing something here or farther back, you just do fair dash attack and cover all of that space. So I would recommend an approach like that if you want to call Fox out for fading back too much and then trying to whiff punish and come in. I recommend that over trying to do something like overshot fair. So let's talk about, I fared, and Fox did not take the bait, what do I do now? So it's very important when you fare that you don't always do uh, the beginner peach player classic, which is this fair into this down smash, or actually more like this fair into this down smash. So if you do undershot fair down smash, that can be a mix up. If he tries to do the up smash to punish your landing, the down smash will connect. But most foxes won't do that. They'll either do a full hop drill, they'll do a short hop drill, they'll do like a short hop nair shine, they'll do running shine. They'll do anything except, well, it would beat running shine, but they'll do anything except getting punished by panic down smash. So we have a couple options. We have fair jab, which has similar issues to fair down smash, but since you've undershot, they have to run toward you. And since they're running toward you, they won't be able to true crouch cancel, and they probably won't be ASDIing down if they're trying to do something like a jump cancel up smash, because the inputs for that are already somewhat demanding. You can do dash back. Dash back is super important. So when you fair, since you have so little landing lag, it's important to sometimes just dash away. And if you dash away, you'll frequently find Fox is slightly slow because they don't expect you to be actionable and moving. So like when you fare here, you're telegraphing that you're gonna be occupying this position, but you're not actually locked down into that position. You can dash forward or dash away. So you have fair dash tag and you have fair run away. And I this this is 20XX and not a UCF setup, so I'm I'm losing dashbacks. But when you do something like this, it's good because 
In order to cover your dashback, Fox has to dash over the spot where you down smash. So by doing these fair dashbacks, you force him to either commit to taking a potentially down smashable risk or just letting you get away scot-free. And you could retreat to a position like this and do another undershot fair and retreat fair dashback. And at no point during the sequence have you made a substantial risk, right? So at any point if Fox wants, wants to punish this kind of approach to the game, he has to actually commit to something or try to like go above you to the top platform, which means that you've more or less won one neutral. You've gotten center stage at that point. He has to respect your space, which is the purpose of fair. If they're, if they're shielding your dash stacks, if you're doing fair dash stack and they're shielding, um, what you can do is you can do you can do fair grab. And that's that's pretty good. That's a that's a pretty hard call call out on shield. Um, just since grab doesn't have a big hitbox, it doesn't come out terribly fast. It doesn't cover a whole lot of space. But it does beat that option and punt and grabs on a lot of characters, especially fast followers, can lead and do a lot of damage. So if you have a good read on them, it can be worth adding in. And the last one that I want to talk about is that you can do you can do fair into crouch cancel. So fair into crouch cancel is generally better than fair into down smash because Fox can attack you, but even if he atta even at very high percents, even if I were at 120 or so, if I'm true crouch canceling like this and Fox up smashes me, I live. Just because of the way that true crouch cancel affects knockback. But what you're looking for is for him to punish with something like dash attack or nair, or even running shine. Sometimes you can get the crouch cancel on the shine and then down smash afterward. So you're trying to bait him into punishing your your fair. And then you're already crouch canceling, and then you hit confirm them hitting you with a down smash. It's far superior to actually just doing raw fair down smash. So, if you've never done these kinds of mix-ups before, I want to emphasize that it's important to actually, like, you know, open the game, pretend that there's a you're playing against a player, and do them. Because if you've never practiced them, they feel weird, and if you don't know how they feel, you know, in your hands... You'll never do them during a real match. So it's important to actually like walk yourself through the steps of these mix-ups. This mix-up and this jump forward, double jump back mix-up. You know, all these all these ways that you can control space with fair. And then the your, your post-fair game, you know, fair dash tag, fair dash back, fair grab, fair crouch cancel. It's important to have that fluency. And so even though when you fair, you find yourself in a risky position, it's actually riskier for Fox just because of the nature of the rewards that you get off of some of your options. Like, Fox can hit you in this situation, but you also haven't committed to being in a state where you're actually vulnerable. And a lot of the time when you're getting consistently punished for your fares by Fox or other characters, that's because you're always choosing the same option, and so you're essentially making yourself vulnerable, right? Like, fair isn't punishable. Fair down smash is punishable. You're you're covering your safe option with an unsafe option. Um, and that's that's the dash back here. The dash back and the crouch cancel. Like, you can dash backwards out of crouch. It's hard, but you can actually dash. So crouching doesn't actually commit you to anything. So it's important to change your positioning on the ground after you fair. Because otherwise, if you always just commit in place, you're going to get messed up. And fair will no longer serve its intended purpose of safely taking space. So, I'll talk briefly about what you do when you land a fair. I feel like this is ground much more covered. You can look this up yourself. But you do have a mix-up scenario when you are hitting them. When you're hitting Fox... You have a couple things you can do. You can do jab. You can do fair grab. You can do fair fair down smash, which I failed. The the reason why I'm I'm going over the mix up that you have after this is that you have two things that are good. Uh, you have fair dash tag through them if he doesn't do grab, which beats that option. Like if if you expect them to buffer or roll away, you can do fair dash tag, which is good at covering rolls. But since he's deciding to only shield grab, it doesn't cover it. So fair dash attack is good for covering rolls. And on top of that, fair dash away is good for baiting out stuff. Like if they do like the short hop drill out of shield that you'll see foxes do sometimes or shine out of shield or whatever, if you have good execution, you fair dash away, you can bait their option. 
So it's important to not always go for your like jab versus grab versus down smash approaches out of fair. Instead, you can sometimes do more 50-50 Sheik style mix-ups with dash away. And it's important. It follows the same principle that I talked about earlier, where you don't always want to stay in the same position because Fox can come down on top of the... If Fox knows what position that you're trying to hold and fight from, it's much easier for him to attack it properly. So by mixing up your position out of these situations where a lot of Peach players would stay stationary, you make it much harder for Fox to fight you and you conceal your intentions much better. So that's pretty much it for my neutral guide on how to use Peach's Float Cancel Fair. Um, I hope this helps some of you. I hope you learned something. Um, and I hope this helps you deal with Fox and fast characters in general on these larger stages and using fair to just keep them out and understanding what what you should be trying to go for and how to make Fox respect your space with this move. So happy hunting out there. Um, I hope you hunt foxes to a dangerous ecological state. And if you like this, stay tuned. I'm planning to hopefully make some more beginner level neutral guides as well.